Hi everyone, we're here again at the Payne Maryland Project at the corner of Payne and Maryland Avenue on St. Paul's East Side. And we're now inside the building. It's been a few months since we last talked to you. Uh, we have a new name. It's the Arlington Hills Community Center. And today, we'll get an insider's look of what uh, the community will see in just a few short months uh, with the grand opening on May 4th here at the facility. Uh, joining me is the city's project manager, Brian Tortolet. And uh, Brian, why don't we start here at the, at the front desk? What are we seeing here? Well, this is our welcome and security desk. Uh, and the facility management office. And uh, these people are going to certainly, uh, you know, uh, welcome people into the building, but uh, also can uh, provide some programming for the site in general and uh, all the meeting and community rooms uh, and the ability for people to use that. So they'll be the main introduction desk to every single person that walks into the library rec center. Yes, that's correct. Great. That's great. Let's uh, let's take a, a walk down this hallway, hallway and take a look at the meeting spaces and the community gathering space. So this is one of the meeting spaces in the facility. Brian, why don't you tell, tell us a little bit more about it? Well, we have two uh, meeting rooms uh, that'll hold 20 or 25 people. Um, they'll be outfitted with uh, projectors and uh, a whiteboard and um, just be able to host uh, a meeting or an education session or a craft class or things like that in, in these two uh, meeting rooms. Well, that's great. Uh, let's, uh, let's take a walk through here. It looks like this is uh, connected to maybe a kitchen. Uh, this particular meeting room is connected to the kitchen that serves the community room. Uh, it's a small serving kitchen, it's not an actual uh, food prep uh, kitchen, so it's not rated for food prep. But uh, this is uh, where, uh, amongst other things, a, uh, a caterer would uh, operate out of if they were catering a, a larger uh, meeting or dinner or something in the community room. Uh, this is also where uh, we'll have uh, our food uh, programs for the children's um, and we have some storage facilities uh, back here, a pantry for, for that. So the lunch programs would be served out of here in the community room as well. Okay, in, in here we have the large community gathering space. Uh, it's a room that could have a dinner for about 100 people or just in chairs, uh, probably more like 150 or, or so. Um, it, it opens, has nice windows opening to the south so it can relate to the site, but it also is outfitted with a projection screen and uh, telecom equipment and so forth so we could hold some really nice uh, uh, high-tech meetings and, and things like that. Now, Brian, I understand there's a lot of different sustainability measures for the New Arlington Hills Community Center. Why don't you tell us a little bit about what we're standing in front of right here? Well, this, this right here is a... Uh, um, a material that's known as wood from the hood. It's made in Minneapolis from uh, recycled elm trees that have been, diseased trees that have been removed. And we're using it for paneling to accent. Uh, you can see some ceilings and um, uh, things. It really is, is being used to, uh, to bring a high quality into the interior and a warmth. But it is a recycled uh, wood product. Well, now we're here in the uh, fitness slash uh, weight room. Why don't you tell us a little bit about this room, Brian? Well, this is our fitness room, and uh, it's going to be a combination of um, cardio equipment, strength uh, training equipment, and some free weights that are involved. It has a beautiful view out on, onto uh, Maryland Avenue, so there's some connection to the outside, and uh, I think people will like the brightness that's in here. So here we are on the walking track. Uh, it's uh, above the gymnasium and uh, so people are walking and they can uh, look outside through the windows. Uh, they can uh, watch the events going on uh, down in the gymnasium. Nope. Gymnasium uh, can be divided into two halves and so it can play uh, uh, crosswise and it can go uh, lengthwise as well. Uh, it's striped for uh, volleyball. Uh, high school basketball um, and also for pickleball. All right, well now we're uh, in front of the main entrance to the library, so why don't we take a, a peek inside here at some of the kind of cool different layout options. This room is a computer learning lab 
and uh, obviously the computers aren't here yet, but this is where the library would uh, have computer classes or a job bank, uh, computers and things like that, um, that uh, would happen right in here. Well, when, when you walk into the library, obviously your eye goes right to the uh, main information desk uh, that has some of that wood from the hood uh, on it. And uh, off to the right is, uh, is the adult section um, and that's a fairly large section of the library. It has a lot of windows that face to the corner of Payne in Maryland. It's really nice. Uh, to the left is the media uh, area. So I believe they have books and magazines and CDs and things like that uh, in that area. Uh, more off to the right, uh, a little sharper right, is the children's area. Uh, you can see that the carpet and the walls pick up a lot of color. Uh, that will all be children's materials and uh, the furnishings in the children's area are at child scale. Uh, we've got some different kind of unique accent features throughout the facility, Brian. Kind of what was the thinking behind uh, doing this? Well, um, we have two locations with drinking fountains that have uh, water bottle fillers and that. It's, uh, it's, all, it's all filtered and chilled and the architects wanted it to stand out as something very colorful and unique and so they put this colorful tile uh, on the wall in just in the two bays where the drinking fountains are. Well and behind us here, they're not in yet, but this is the, the main stairwell that will be uh, coming from the upstairs where the library and the community gathering space is uh, down to the recreation center space. Yep, um, the, what's now plywood will have that wood from the hood paneling on it, uh, bring the, the warmth of the wood down. And we have the same uh, wood uh, around our recreation desk and uh, the overhead space. Sort of connects it all together and uh, brings people down in a nice open, uh, warm feeling to this space. Now, this is the teen area in the facility. Brian, why don't you tell us a little bit about this area and kind of what makes it unique with these glass uh, kind of wall here in front of where we're standing? Well, um, several things. The, the teen media center is going to have some furniture out in front that will be comfortable, but it's going to have some furniture inside that the teens are just going to love because teens like to hang out or be comfortable or move stuff around um, and there will be uh, places with, uh, that they can work on homework, there will be computers to check out, games and all sorts of stuff. They can be loud in there if they want to. Um, one of the things that happens is uh, some of the paint on the walls uh, actually makes it like a chalkboard and so they can actually decorate the chalkboard. Um, as, as part of what they're doing uh, with their day. And then you can wash it down and tomorrow somebody else can put up something else. Uh, this glass work that's in front of us is actually gonna have a film on it and uh, we have a public artist that is working right now on helping to decide uh, what will be put on there. So there's probably gonna be some graphics of some sort incorporated into the film that will be public art and, uh, and we may actually uh, get that, uh, the idea for what it is from the teens. One of the spaces we didn't talk about is the, uh, the space right out in front of the building that we call the town square. It's, it will look mostly like a parking lot, but also like a plaza. And it can be converted from a parking lot to a use space. And uh, we think that that'll be a, a critical uh, game changer in the community as a place to gather, to have a farmer's market or an art fair or the uh, fall harvest festival, we'll meet and gather there. Uh, a lot of activities could happen there and we think that that's going to be a face of the community that, uh, that's going to change the community. Well thanks Brian, I uh, appreciate the insider's look and I know everyone else appreciated the insider's look uh, here at the new Arlington Hills Community Center that will be opening in May of uh, 2014. Uh, for future updates and, and we'll hopefully come back to you next time without hard hats on, uh, go to stpaul.gov slash Project, and we'll be sure that uh, to bring you more updates uh, as the facility uh, gets closer to opening.